going to welcome back to a bit of a welcome back to the channel, man. So, y'all see, we got back here in the build. I had to bring him back on the channel because, bro, because this is why I had to bring him back on the channel, bro. I reacted to a song on him for the first time after the biz rap. So, we did the biz rap, then we reacted to this one. A horror as an emperor 5.5k views about to hit 5.6k views you guys absolutely ran up the tab on the views so i was like bro i'm gonna bring him back on the channel so in the comments i did have a bunch of people telling me that i had to check out this song it's by corvado as well and it's called non-stop so i do got my you know they typed up the lyrics so i'm gonna just have them translate over the english so i ain't got to look between screen and screen i can actually pay attention to the music video we're definitely gonna get straight into it if you guys are new to the channel though hey consider hitting that subscribe button down below i don't want a 20 5,000 subscribers. Other than that, bro, let's check this thing out, bro. Ah, the water hitting. Bro, um, bro, do y'all not be having, like, the biggest, like, like, bro, it always be, like, so clubs, this is why they don't do it. Now you think about it, right? Every time you go to a club, unless you go into a fancy spot, but if you go into a normal club where everybody can pretty much get into for like 20 bucks or something, bro, you're gonna run into bathrooms that look straight hideous. You don't be having no you don't be having no sanitization thing on the wall. Bro, the sink knobs be looking straight doo-doo trash and doo-doo crannies. You got the 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 the, the daggum toilet. Look, I mean, the, the 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 napkin dispenser, but this thing is punched. Like, bro, it look like somebody done sat on the thing. It's ruined. But then too, it's like, bro, if you go from the vibe in the club, whatever, you go into that bathroom. You see what that that bathroom look like, bro. Nine times out of ten, bro, you gonna want to leave looking at that bathroom, bro. It give you sad vibes, bro. I'm telling you, man. Janitorial crew, we at, man. It's serious. Oh, that's the smaller version of him. Is that the smaller version of him? Younger version? Kylie Leonard. Oh, oh. Okay then, bit Okay. Alright now. Turn me up, bro. Turn me up. Let's go back. Y ahora me tiran al fond. Antes escribía pa' cambiar el negro en mi corazón. Ahora pa' que lo que no creían digan tenía razón. Te meto más duro que tu en tu maqueta cuesta solo escribir dos lines. No me hace falta un rol en la muñeca para controlar el time. Salimos campeón el primer año como en Toronto Kawaii. See, bro, this is this is a hard. There are many acquaintances, but very few that I respect. See, some of y'all get it mistaken that like everybody that you talk to is your friend. But bro, uh, the word friend is like everybody says it, but you gotta kind of be careful when you say it though, because it's like I'm telling you, if you got ten friends, most of the time. You call them friends, but only three of them is really your friends. The the other the other seven is your acquaintances. Got to be careful with that. I'm telling you, man. You get back door out here, man. That's I like that, bro. If it didn't change my life, why would fame and money do it, bro? 
Oh, I'm talking about, bro. It's like this is like the same situation as saying like everybody swears, bro. When you get famous, whatever your life is completely fixed. That's not the case. Think about it, bro. Why do you think there's these people out here, bro, who still do drugs, and they like the biggest thing of hip hop? I mean, not sent. Well, yeah. So I'm saying that because it's like they are still somewhat broken inside. They're not like truly happy, right? So that's what I'm telling you. It's like. <clears throat> You got to be happy before you, like, get famous or else your life will be destroyed. Seriously. You know? It happens that way. why i'm really like rocking with the song is because it's like it's like that 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 calm mellow beat but it got bars up in it like you know what i'm talking about like it's like this is like it's it's like you know what i'm talking about like it's like that calm beat but it's like it's 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 producing lyrically too as well bro it's not like all oh, you know all trap but it's like that calm with the bars in it as well bro like i'm seeing a bunch of hold up bro like this song really got a bunch of Instagram captions in it, bro. You know, for sure. Pasando coches como si los de atrás fueran agentes A veces noto que las emociones andan ausentes El karma me tiene todavía un par de asuntos pendientes El niño incomprendido se le My bad, bro. That's another thing, too. It's like, bro, this right here, bro, is a real thing, sort of, kind of. Sometimes I notice that emotions are absent. Karma me still has a couple of unfinished business. Karma be sneaking up. But, like, I feel like, I really feel like, like, supposedly they be saying, like, once you get all your depth going with the karma, bro, then you start to, like, profit. You know what I'm saying? It happens that way. It happens that way. But, you know, different things be happening. Karma me tiene todavía un par de asuntos pendientes. El niño incomprendido será incomprendido siempre. Ninguno me conoce. ¿Quién dice que lo hace? Te miente. Con la conciencia calmada, pero siempre pendiente. Porque de todo. He ain't got no house yet, bro. I mean, you know, I ain't knocking him at all. At all, I ain't knocking him at all. But uh, I thought he was, like, bigger in the scene. Like, you know, money-wise, bigger in the scene. But, I mean, 500K subscribers. I mean, I don't know what his top songs do. Let's see. The Ed Horror. What did it do? This did... I thought he was, like, big, big. 33 million. So, I mean, I say, you know, this man do got, you know, some millions. Got to be, you know? He not going to stop until he have a house and a view of the sea. So, this was March 3rd. So, he probably ain't got no house with a... He ain't probably ain't got no house on the beach yet. But, it's coming, though. It's coming, though. Quavero, it's coming for you, my guy. <laughs>
rock with the song, bro. I really do, bro. Like, it's like that vibe subtle, you know? But it got the bars in it as well, bro. You know? I really rock with the song, bro. I really do. I don't know what his problem was because let me tell you what. Listen to this song. See, he was listening to this song with his eyes closed. I don't know what what was going on now. But this song right there would have had me with the headphones on, standing up and going crazy, jumping and all. I mean, it give you like that little height, little feeling. You know what I'm talking about? So this man just like he was almost going to sleep. Listen to this song. I don't know what he probably would, bro. But uh, anyways, man, hey, that is going to do it for the reaction. If I had to rate this, bro, I'd give it somewhere like an 8, 8.5, somewhere in that range. Um, Because, like I said, it is that vibe with it as well. But it also got like a lot of like Instagram captions worthy as well. And I really like what he's saying between each line, you know. I really, bro, I really rock with Cuevedo slow, though. I really do, bro, because I really enjoyed the Horora and Siempre song. That joke was hard, though. I really rock with that. Anyways, man, that's gonna do it for the reaction, man. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit the like button down below. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below as well. I don't want to 25,000 subscribers. Uh, not that, hey, people call it care, care about the stay. Peace out. Love you guys.